Hello, my name's Keith Wild. Today I'm going to take you for a short tour of the home screen and the general layout of Oracle's Primavera Contract Manager. Now this system is intuitive, easy to use, very adaptable to all situations whether you be an owner, general contractor, subcontractor, vendor, really doesn't matter. Uh, the system itself is easily adaptable to any of those situations. Now I'm going to come up here onto the uh, project view side and this is a menu tree that describes basically all the projects that we have open in this database. I'm going to click on all projects and you'll notice that the screen changes uh, over here on what we call the control center uh, all of the graphics now reflect all of the projects that we have um, in the system. Now back here on the project view side I'm going to open up the project called demo and you'll notice that it breaks down into four folders. Now each of these folders if you click on the plus sign breaks down into pointers that basically go to uh, logs about the, the particular subject. In this case it's companies. So I'm going to click on companies. A single click will do it. And it takes me into a log of all the companies that are associated with this demo project. Now we're starting to get into some detail here. So let's take a look at this screen because what you see here works exactly the same way across the whole system. Up top I can select an action. These are all the things that I can do on this particular screen. Some of the more important uh, items are listed over here on the left hand side. So these are items that are used virtually all the time. Now there's a couple conventions here that we really want to look at. This little form with a pencil on it says that I have read-write capability to this portion of this project. And if I click on it, I will go into the actual form in edit mode. If I didn't have the pencil, it would mean that I had read-only access. Also, if I just click on the link, I'll get into this form in read-only uh, format. So I'm going to click on this form and I'll click on the first one and put myself into read-write mode and here is the actual form itself. Now the form is broken up by tabs which take me to different sections of the form. This makes it really easy to use. And each of these sections is sort of self-explanatory. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow these cookie crumbs up at the top. I'm going to go back to the log because there's something important that I want to show you. And this time I'm going to go into the same document uh, but I'll go in in read-only format. And I want you to see something. There's an extra tab here and this extra tab is a version tab so any changes that are made anywhere in this system can be tracked based on who changed them and when they changed them. That's a very attractive feature about this particular product. Now I'm going to go back here to my control center so I can go all the way back with a single click. I'll open up the rest of these just so that you can see the types of documents. All of these documents have something to do with communication. These documents all have something to do with money. And these are tracking documents, submittals, uh, daily reports, uh, generally items that need to be approved or, or tracked and managed. Now over here on the right hand side of the screen we're looking at our uh, control center and there's a, an action section. Everything that shows up here is connected with a link and every document here 
is one that has our name on it. In other words, the login that we use to sign into this system uh, will have documents connected to us. Over here are alerts, and the alerts are things that you subscribe to. And so if your name is on the alert list and the trip level has been uh, hit, uh, you'll have an item here that says that you have an alert. The inbox is an internal inbox which lets us pass documents back and forth to project members. The RFI, if you remember, this is a slightly different picture from what we saw just a few minutes ago, but this, these RFIs are strictly uh, concerned with the demo project. We have an issue file, any item that needs to be tracked, anything that could become an issue, anything that we want to highlight or collect uh, data into, we create with issues. And then we can track submittals here. There really are no other products on the market that track submittals as well as we can track them in Contract Manager. On the bottom of the screen, we have the ability to generate uh, and track uh, different kinds of reports. And we can also get direct links to uh, documents. So that's our quick overview. Uh, there's a lot more to it than we just shown you, but this should be enough to get you started and familiar with the product. Uh, that's the end of this lesson. Thank you and good day.